<laughs> this is actually so fun. Welcome to the garage everyone, it's another rainy miserable day. So we're going to make the most of being indoors and look as you can see here, this is my old NS downhill bike, uh, probably from 2022, maybe even 2021, something like that. But uh, anyway, it's been uh, hanging on the wall because I don't want to sell it because it's got the Lotus custom paint job, which I think is super cool. But also I've got my new purple one, so I don't need it as a downhill bike anymore. So I'm going to do something today that I've wanted to do for a long time. You may have seen this massive battery down here on the floor. <laughs> We've got this pack from Paradox Kinetics. So somehow, this sort of goes on here and it makes a homemade super fast e-bike. So that's what we're gonna try and do today. All right, first of all, let's get this battery charged up. I don't know how long it takes. Didn't blow up, good start. Let's leave that over here in the corner and crack on. Quite a lot of parts. Yeah, it looks ever so complicated, but it's gonna be so fun. First of all, just gotta strip it right down to the bare frame. So it kind of looks like the motor is going to be hanging sort of somewhere under there. Good start. I definitely don't have a tool for that though, so the hammer might have to come out soon. Ooh, okay. Handy little uh, screw kit, hey. Wow, yeah, so it looks like the motor is going to sit kind of up in there. And then that house somehow joins into the cranks and powers the uh, back. So I think you can pedal or you can set it up for just the thumb so that it's more like a motorbike. So we're going to set it up like a motorbike, obviously. Next up. Yes, yeah, so we're bogging it into the chain device mount, which uh, that seems quite a good idea, really. I guess it, that means it fits pretty much every bike. And you're not having to bolt through your frame or anything like that. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't think we have to make any sort of frame modifications. Sadly, I don't have the real tool for this, so. A hammer it is, and a screwdriver. Not too bad. This is so good, just using up random old parts I'm going to find around the garage to make a, uh, a full bike again. <laughs> nice, don't want to over tighten them. That looks pretty tidy, isn't it? Coming along, <laughs> sick. Next up, basically we've got the bottom bracket and the sort of axle through here for the special cranks. I just need to work out how many spaces we need and uh, all that fun stuff to make sure we get it right the first time. Because I think there's going to be a lot of power going through here. I mean, that's bigger than a normal e-bike battery, isn't it? So maybe it's going to be faster than a normal e-bike. That'd be cool. Nice, I think that's actually spot on. Cranks on next. Looks like the motor's totally on actually, doesn't it? I mean, that wasn't really all that hard. So he says, let's see if it pulls off. But next up, we've got these sort of special cranks with like a freewheel on there to, uh, yeah, so you can pedal with the motor or you can just motorbike it like we said earlier, which is the plan. And all going well, this will fit. Whoa. Nicely on there. Quite a crazy design, isn't it? I'm super interested to see if it works, because then you can literally turn any bike you've already got into an e-bike, including weird ones like downhill bikes and even dirt jump bikes. Maybe we can make a dirt jump e-bike if this works. Just see how many laps you can do. It yeah, be. think how fast a BMX track would be or a pump track on a uh, e-bike jump bike. Very tightly on. It's it? real tight. Time to put the motor cog on we have here. Oh, really nicely actually. There we go. Now that that's on there, it's kind of clearer how this is going to work, isn't it? Pretty clever. Cool design. I really like it. Now we've got to connect the big power cable. <laughs> okay. And that goes into the bag. Should we hook up the battery and see if it turns on actually? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Didn't recharge it up enough. Yeah. Ooh. Scary little pop there. There's no like lights or anything. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
Oh no, it's runaway. <laughs> it got stuck. <laughs> oh, that sound. <laughs> it doesn't turn off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it doesn't turn off. That's a bit worrying, isn't it? Maybe we need to set it up or something. Maybe we should have read the instructions before we plugged it in. Yeah, it's still firm there. That's still good. Yeah, okay. Okay, so yeah, apparently it kind of keeps the motor just going under super low power. So you can change the gears at the back, so it just keeps it like going around. So I think once you've got some more resistance, like if we're actually pedalling along, then it will stop giving us the power. Yeah, or it just turns off after five seconds. Wicked! This is all good! Into the parts bin. Into the parts bin. A stem for a downhill bike. And so we need some bars, which are over here. Nice, all the goody spank parts, the vibracore bars <laughs> to take out the vibrations for when we're ripping up, down, and around. I wonder if a voiceover would be good with uh, this video. Do you know what? I was just thinking that. So once the spank bars and stem were on, I had to find out where the throttle was supposed to go. <laughs> Don't know where that's meant to go. But I guessed, and then after some more spank goodies were added, including grips and one of my own signature saddles, it was starting to look like a bike. I tried to reuse parts from old bikes as much as possible and managed pretty much everything except a rear brake. I couldn't find any old rear brakes so we're going to have to just bust out a freshie for this one but that definitely makes it easier to run through the frame. I'd forgotten the forks had to come off to route the brake cable through the frame so once they are out I took the opportunity to route the gear cable at the same time. So with that done, the forks and bars went back on and we were almost ready to ride. I just had to borrow the wheel set from my actual downhill bike, the Spank 350 Vibracore wheel set with Kenda pinner tires, make up some DIY cable clamps and we were ready to hit the trails. Yeah, it just looks like a normal downhill bike. <laughs> it basically is, except it's probably got a couple of kilograms of motor and then a couple of kilograms of cable ties on there as well. <laughs> oh, it's so heavy. Okay, let's let's plug me in. I think it should go across the front there. No, I think it's around the back. <laughs> it like because normally on the e-bike I guess you do have gears on an e-bike but on this one you like throttle and then you lift off to shift and you go like ing 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 and it goes so much faster than a normal e-bike <laughs> this is quality I need to practice a bit more trying to learn some wheelies this is going to be good I reckon Should we um, go to the BMX track <laughs> and give it a go there? Yeah. Right, so, super wet today, as we said earlier, so there's not many places that this would have worked. So we've come to the only place I could think of that would be good, the local BMX track, the little tiny one, to do a couple laps to test it out and see how it is. That's so good! <laughs> That's so wild! It's like, 
not really a motorbike, it's definitely a mountain bike, but it's hard not to ride it like a motorbike. It's got like enough power to propel you along, but not enough power like a motorbike where you kind of gas off the takeoff and that gives you like a pop. So it's like a weird hybrid. It's pretty wild. I wish the throttle was on the right hand side because it's so hard to do fingers on the brakes and thumb on the gas, but maybe that's something I can look into changing. Maybe I just need to get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's too good. Wonder if I could clear that big gap down there that I've not been able to do on the jump bike before. Isn't it? It almost took me out. Oh. Let's do a top speed run and a race start. That's so good. Need to learn how to wheelie it though, don't I? Whoa! <laughs> God, you can really, really dig in. Do you want to have a go? Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> I see what you mean about the bloody uh, the throttle thing. It's crazy. Ah, oh, it's wet and muddy on this field. <laughs> oh, puddles. How on earth are you jumping this thing first go round? Huge puddle. Oh. Oh, 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 nearly over the back then. <laughs> I keep nearly moving out, I'm gonna hurt myself on this. But, oh! <laughs> I keep forgetting about the brakes and the accelerator, like pushing that and then it's just going away from it's me. It's hard, isn't it? When you go the right way around the track, that's definitely easier. Yeah. I don't like this cable between my legs either. <laughs> so hard. Come on. Oh, big guy. Right. I think I'll give it back to Sam before I kill myself. <laughs> it's one of those weird things, like, because you've got the throttle there, I'm having such a brain fart about what's the front and back brake as well. Yeah, weird, isn't it? It's yeah. Not, it's really not, it's not natural, and then, is No, it? not at all. But like you said, if it was on the right one, it would be so much nicer. Yeah, all right. But yeah, okay, no, that's fun. Board with that. I don't know how we're going to... Uh get that to go on the right, but uh, we'll find that, a way. Some downhill trails and stuff would be yeah, funny as well. some downhill tracks, how good it would be. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually so fun.
Well, it looks like we're pretty much out of battery, but that's good because I am as well. It's so tiring, like pulling up and down, bunny hopping a downhill bike around with this extra weight, but it's so good. It um, doesn't have quite as much power as I'd have hoped because you can't do like wheel spins. It kind of just powers you along, like literally perfect for this BMX track. Although I reckon a bigger, faster BMX track would be even better. Awesome like flat, muddy trails. So we go charge it up. I'm gonna see if there's a way to put the throttle onto the right hand. Then I'll go do some practicing with it and we'll go take it out somewhere else, shall we? I wonder if it's um, very welcome at the bike park. <laughs> Maybe not. But compared to an actual e-bike, it's definitely faster than one of those. And so good, because you can just sit down and like glass long and wheelie and stuff. So yeah, that was really cool. I'm glad I finally built it up and can't wait to go play on it some more. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let us know if you want us to go take it somewhere else. And uh, if you've got any cool ideas of where to go. Thanks uh, as always for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more fun coming up soon and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. There you go, that's made enough mess for that. Nice, mudguards. Needs mudguards actually, doesn't it? <laughs>